When Duke Nukem last graced our screens, the world was a much happier place. Umbop was rocking the charts, Mother Teresa was still feeding orphans, and Jar Jar Binks was nothing more than a glint in George Lucas's eye. Lucas! Anyway, now the Duke is back, bathed in babes, bombast, and bad taste. But with the development cycle longer than both world wars put together, has the wait been worth it? Let's find out. I calculated that 3D Realms had invested somewhere between 3,500 and 4,500 man months of time over their time uh, in developing the game. By the time that uh, Gearbox ships Duke Nukem Forever, we'll have invested another uh, 2,500 man months. When, when Duke Nukem begins, Duke is finally playing his own video game. And what's interesting is it's kind of a fourth wall moment where you know he feels about it the, kind of the same way we do. It's like there's so many games that take themselves seriously and uh, uh, you know, it's, it's nice, it's kind of refreshing to be able to relax, to remember that video games are supposed to be fun. Yeah, but after 12 years, it should be. In the time it's taken for Duke Nukem Forever to hit our screens, you could have raised a teenager, served a medium term prison sentence, or waited for Guns N' Roses to almost make an album. You could also have watched the games industry evolve beyond recognition, leaving poor old Duke a relic of the last century, both in political and technical terms. Whereas his casual sexism can possibly be overlooked in the name of alleged comedy, the graphics unfortunately cannot. In modern terms, it stinks more than a conga line of diuretic skunks, further addled by an epileptic frame rate that is scarcely any smoother than Duke's one-liners. The gameplay is similarly archaic, a heady return to the good old days when enemies simply ran at you, forcing you to relearn old skills such as circle strafing and panicking blindly, not least during the obligatory boss levels. It's by no means easy, however, and unlike modern shooters, there's no omnipresent white dot to follow. You often have to work out what to do by using your mind, a concept that younger gamers may find bewildering. If you can ignore the looks and technical limitations, Duke Nukem Forever is actually a solid old-school linear shooter, with some thumb-ruining action and spectacular set pieces. Whatever the year, that shotgun still packs a punch. Is it the awesome game everyone hoped for? Not by a long shot, and in some ways, it's hard not to feel a little violated by the hype. Despite an anachronistic gag about eBay, Duke is hopelessly set in his ways, but when it gets down to it, maybe that's how we like him. There's enjoyment to be had here, and the franchise still has some promise left. Just don't make it so long next time. Hell, I'd still hit it.